scenes from the Fort Meade Pavilion and the return of the massing of the colors. Much more from the pavilion in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the summer safety season is here. We'll take a look at this year's safety and resiliency fair. Plus sign up for this year's summer reading program. These stories and more, but first some big construction news. Over the last several weeks, construction crews have put up barriers, cleared trees, and rearranged the traffic pattern on Cooper Avenue. The expansion of Cooper, the main north-south route on Fort Meade, has been in the works for years. Though most of the people who travel the road won't realize it, Cooper Avenue is a symbol of partnership, of the possibilities when we come together. It took over seven years of coordination, advocacy, and focused attention from the Army, the local community, and absolutely from our federal delegation to get this action through. The commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Baltimore District detailed the expansion project. The Cooper Road pro widening project will reconstruct Cooper Avenue connecting the improved intersection at Rotten Rockenbach Road to the improved intersection at Mapes Road. The overarching goal in just plain English is to prevent traffic jams and road failures on Fort Meade. So what we're going to do is widen Cooper Avenue from Rockenbach to Mapes from two lanes to four lanes. We're going to widen Reese Road from Cooper Avenue to Rose Street with Rose Street will also be widened down uh, up from two lanes to four lanes. Eventually the widened Cooper Avenue will connect to the four lane road coming out of the Reese Road access control point. Stay tuned for further developments. Meanwhile, with Memorial Day in the rearview mirror, the summer safety season is upon us. The Garrison Safety Office and the Armed Forces Wellness Center teamed up for this year's Safety and Resiliency Expo. Combining with the Arm, Armed Forces Wellness Center, we have uh, over 60 presenters at the event today um, covering summer safety, uh, entomology as far as like ticks, things along that nature, uh, fi financial resiliency, and, and of course a number of different safety presenters. Uh, but we're not, not just focused solely on um, uh, safety or wellness. We, we include items like boss, uh, things to help build that resiliency uh, across our, our formations. Elsewhere, for the first time since 2019, Fort Meade and the General Meade Chapter of the Military Order of the World Wars staged the 34th Annual Massing of the Colors. More than 35 Honor Guards representing all branches of service, emergency responders, Boy Scouts, and service organizations participated. The event serves as Fort Meade's Memorial Day observance. The purpose of this Memorial Day Remembrance is to honor those who have made the supreme sacrifice in service to our nation. The massing of the colors serves to recognize and pay homage to the symbol of our nation, the flag of the United States of America, and to foster and celebrate the sense of patriotism that it inspires. This year's special guest speaker was General Timothy Hawk, the recently appointed U.S. Cybercom Commander and the National Security Agency Director. It is incredibly moving to see so many people in attendance here today. It is important to take the time to celebrate the armed forces, their families, and the civilian communities they serve in, but also to pay tribute to our fallen. Today's ceremony provides us the opportunity to honor service and the selfless commitment of our military personnel to put others before themselves. As a nation, we are in debt to those who have served. We stand on the shoulders of giants. May we never forget the sacrifice and bravery of the service members who came before us. Read, renew, and repeat. That's the slogan for this year's DOD MWR Libraries I Read Summer Reading Program. During the summer months, MWR libraries around the world are hosting a range of activities for all ages that encourage support and love for reading. Details on how to sign up in a moment, but first a brief message from I Read. Did you like the book? I didn't finish it. Oh, I could renew it for you. Here you go. Enjoy. See you again soon. Thank you. See you next week. Have you signed up for summer reading? Of course I did. I sign up every year. Read, renew, repeat this summer at your library with reading programs for children, teens, and adults. To sign up, go to fortmead.beanstack.org. You can register as an individual, family, or group. Once you sign in, log your reading and earn prizes. For more information, you can go to me.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.